The car's braking system is crucial for stopping your vehicle by slowing down the wheels. But when braking performance declines, it can be hard to pinpoint the issue. One potential culprit is a faulty brake booster check valve. How can you tell if this part is causing problems? In this guide, we'll cover the common symptoms of a bad brake booster check valve and explain its function. We'll also show you where it's located, how to test it, and discuss the cost of replacing the valve. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Symptoms of a bad brake booster check valve The brake pedal might feel stiffer if the brake booster check valve fails. It also makes it difficult for the car to brake or stop. Because of the vacuum leak, the check engine light or other engine performance issues may occasionally appear. Let's examine these four symptoms in detail. Trouble braking Air from the vacuum brake booster cannot be drawn in if the check valve is closed. In the event of a brake, air enters the brake booster. In either case, braking effectiveness is compromised. These problems can have a variety of causes in addition to the brake booster check valve, just like the stiff pedal, a damaged caliper, a faulty master cylinder, low fluid levels, air in the brake line, or problems with the ABS modulator or other possibilities. In either case, it's critical to conduct a thorough diagnosis prior to replacing any parts. Stiff brake pedal, the check valve might fracture or break. When this occurs, it can no longer be kept sealed, which results in a vacuum leak. The brake pedal feels stiff as a result of this issue, making it more challenging to depress. Because there is less vacuum, the brakes require more force to activate because there is less boosting power when you press the pedal. You can automatically assume that the brake booster check valve is to blame because there are other issues that can cause a stiff brake pedal. A seized caliper, a bad brake booster, a cracked vacuum hose, or contamination of the brake lines are other potential causes. Check engine light. Vacuum pressure from the engine is directed through the brake booster check valve. The brake booster system is always under vacuum. The mass airflow sensor measures this airflow. Therefore, the measured air will be lost if the check valve begins to leak. The car starts moving with a lean. The check engine light illuminates as a result of this problem. You might find DTCs for air fuel ratios using your code reader. This symptom would appear simultaneously with braking issues. If not, there might be an unrelated issue with the engine. Engine Performance Issues Uncontrolled air in the induction system affects performance as the engine runs lean. If the situation is severe enough, the engine RPM may drop and the engine may stall. But this system can also lead to issues other than a broken check valve. The professional diagnosis is crucial because many other issues other than brake-related ones, such as a leaking brake booster diaphragm, could also be to blame. Function of a brake booster check valve The vacuum brake booster becomes impregnated with air. The check valve's one-way construction allows it to release air. Two chambers in the brake booster are divided by a diaphragm. Depending on the design, either the vacuum pump or the intake manifold provides vacuum to these two chambers. Air enters one chamber as you apply pressure to the brake pedal, helping to push the diaphragm. Your force on the brake pedal is amplified by the additional pressure, which makes stopping the car simpler. The vacuum pressure in both chambers returns to normal when you let go of the pedal. Here are a few of the booster check valve's most crucial roles. Keeps the booster's vacuum intact. Limits the entry of outside air into the vacuum brake booster. It releases built-up pressure. The majority of contemporary automobiles come with a brake booster and check valve. The vacuum-assisted brake system is made up of these parts. How to test. You can inspect the check valve without starting the car because it maintains vacuum even when the motor is turned off. This crucial safety feature guarantees that you will have power brakes even if the engine stalls, allowing you to safely pull over. These steps allow us to check the valve while vacuum is still stored in the booster. Put your car in a level spot. To enter the compartment, raise the hood of the car. Locate the brake booster, which is close to the firewall on the driver's side of the car. It is parallel to the brake pedal. Remove the hose and check valve from the brake booster. After removing the check valve and hose, if there is a whooshing sound, the check valve is likely in operation. When these components are taken out silently, check valve isn't holding vacuum and needs to be changed. Test again after replacing the booster check valve. You won't be able to maintain the check valve using these instructions if it is located inside the vacuum hose. In these situations, it is necessary to replace the check valve and the hose together. Replacement Cost The brake booster check valve can cost anywhere between $75 and $150 to replace. If you can do the work yourself, the parts might only run you $25 to $55. Within 30 minutes, even with only rudimentary knowledge, you could install the new brake booster check valve. Hope the information was useful for you.